Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at a brand new card coming out of Yu-Gi-Oh Rush Jewels. It's called Heavenly Revelation. It's a normal spell card with no requirements. The effect is to choose any number of monsters you control and send them to the graveyard. The total original levels of the monsters sent to the graveyard by this effect must be 10 or more. You can also choose one monster that's a level 8 or lower in your graveyard and special summon it face up on your side of the field. The monster special summoned by this effect gains 300 attack until the end of the turn. I can kind of see the reason and the point of running this card. If you've got a bunch of weaker monsters, then maybe just having a strong monster, even if you're ending up with less monsters, might actually be of benefit to you. Think if you've got like a blue eyes white dragon in your graveyard and then you've got three or so monsters that happen to be level four or maybe you've got two that are level four and a level three that will total 10 or more and meet that condition. They might have a thousand or so attack or maybe 1,500. Their totals will probably be more in com combination than the monster that you're actually going to revive. But the chances are, if you don't revive the monster that you want to, you're going to lose the weaker monsters. So it's actually trading up for a stronger monster. That monster also gains a 300 attack point boost. It's not significant, but it can make a bit of a difference over certain monsters. So that in the case of the Blue Eyes White Dragon as an example, would make it a 3,300 attack monster, which can get over most monsters outside of things, I think like maximum monsters. What do you guys think of this card? Do you think it's a nice replacement for maximum summoning? Or do you think at the moment this is just incredibly weak and it, it means you're sacrificing a lot on the gamble of one card that might not even work that well? That's another thing I'd have to point out. Just because you summon a new monster from the graveyard does not mean that monster is going to stay on the field. If your opponent has anything that can trigger off, such as a trap hole, bottomless trap hole, Floodgate Trap Hole or anything of the like or Torrential Tribute or anything that can destroy upon summoning then you've lost that card anyway and any advantage any of your other cards would have given you at that point. Whatever you think leave your comments down below like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh content.